Once again, Florida is hamstring at quarterback. The Tim Tebow era feels in the distant, distant pass. And man, has Florida had some truly awful quarterback play since. Philip Frank started the year on a pretty nice note, with an efficient albeit limited outing against Michigan, followed by a game-winning play against Tennessee that had fans salivating at the prospects of what a developed Franks could look like down the road. Fast forward a month, and just about all the air has been let out of the tires for those riding the Franks bus. Saturday's edition might have been the worst yet, as Franks routinely missed open receivers, maddeningly took multiple sacks, when he could have thrown the ball away and generally looked completely clueless for most of the evening. There's no denying his physical talent, but with each passing week, that monumental upside that seemed to be there is cut in half again and again as fans realize Franks has some seriously glaring holds in his game. There are some things you either get or you don't get as a quarterback, and Franks' play lately is trending toward the latter. He even seemed frustrated afterward when asked about one particularly egregious miss where he checked down for a minimal gain on third and long missing a wide-open Brandon Powell down the field. Franks basically said he can't see the whole field, clearly ticked off a bit. That's true, but right now he's not seeing just about any of the field. We don't want to pile on to Franks because he's a redshirt freshman playing on an offense where he's far from the only issue for coaches that don't seem to put him in nearly as many advantageous spots as they could. So we'll let this point drop and roll into the next one.